what was your entryway into commercial and editorial work? Oh gosh. Um, so I knew that that's, like I said before, that I always wanted to do that. If I was going to be a photographer, if I was going to take it seriously, then I was going to push to try to be able to do that work. Um, so early on, I was trying to figure out what can I shoot that's, you know, basically the lowest level of what would be considered commercial photography that's not, yeah. you know, weddings, families, babies, events, that sort of yeah. thing. And uh, I basically came up with the idea of headshots, you know, um, okay. corporate headshots, actor headshots, like all of that. You know, it was kind of, it was, this was eight, nine years ago. So it was kind of when everybody was starting to realize that, you know, that the importance of their LinkedIn profile and, yeah. and that sort of thing. So, um, and so I started training myself up on how to create cool headshots and that's, you know, our friend Peter Hurley became my first mentor and, and radically changed the way I approached photographing human beings. And, um, I kind of built my business on doing, uh, headshots, headshots that felt really commercial, um, that were marketing tools for people. Um, and from there I took the opportunity to start, you know, doing the personal work, um, of stuff that I, to be able to build a portfolio, to start going to meet with, uh, creative directors at magazines and, and ad agencies and corporations and stuff like that. And that's, I mean, that's just kind of how it started. You know, the work was real shitty in the beginning and people said, you know, we're in the South. So people said, Oh, thanks for coming in. You know, that's really nice. <laughs> um, but you know, it, you just had to keep shooting and keep shooting and creating the work that looked like, you know, what was in the publications and stuff that you wanted to shoot for. Um, and finally, you know, some, some doors started, started opening and I got a couple of jobs early on that I probably shouldn't have gotten. I'm still not sure why, you know, some of these companies hired me early on, but I will forever be thankful for their trust. Um, real early on, I shot an advertisement for Ford Motor Company that we, we shot oh, here in Arkansas. Nice. Yeah. I, I mean, when the call sheet showed up and had the big Ford badge on the top, um, and I'd been shooting for, you know, about 18 months. I was like, That's oh, rad. God, I cannot yeah. screw this up. Um, but it was awesome. It was an ad for like the, the, the front inner page of automotive news. And then, um, like three or four months later, they called me and said, Hey, they, you, uh, we want to run this ad in time magazine as well. So can't, you know, we'll pay an extra 1500 bucks. And I was like, yep, do it. That's awesome. <laughs> So bucket list item is to shoot for Time Magazine. I haven't done it yet, but I have had a, I have had a major advertisement run in Time Magazine. So I, I count that as like a little bit there. 